Thousands of people in Florida, including survivors of Wednesday's mass shooting, have taken part in a rally to demand tighter gun controls in the United States. The event took place outside the court building in the city of Fort Lauderdale, a short distance from the school where a former student, Nicholas Screws, killed 17 people. Laura Westbrook reports. Outside the federal courthouse in Fort Lauderdale, this was the message to lawmakers. Among the protesters was Emma Gonzalez, who took cover on the floor of her school's auditorium as a gunman started shooting. We call She had this to say to Donald Trump. If the president wants to come up to me and tell me to my face that it was a terrible tragedy and how it should never have happened and maintain telling us how nothing is going to be done about it, I'm going to happily ask him how much money he received from the National Rifle Association. What she's referring to is the millions of dollars the NRA has given towards the Trump campaign. On a visit to the hospital where the victims of the attack are being treated, the president once again made no mention of guns or gun control. Instead, he says the problem is mental illness. Just a few kilometers south of where the protest is being held, a gun show is taking place. In the U.S., there are as many guns in circulation as there are people. The NRA is the most powerful lobbying organization in the United States. They've successfully resisted every move to tighten gun controls, and for their supporters, it is a fundamental freedom. When somebody infringes a right for persons in this country to keep and bear arms, then it's an infringement upon our rights, it's a violation of our civil liberties, now we have a bigger problem. We will be spending our time at funerals. But after yet another school shooting, anger among the younger generation is rising. In fact, students across the country are planning a mass walkout of schools in April, the anniversary of the Columbine High School massacre. They are demanding adults listen to them and tighten gun control. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.